All right, so today I actually wanted to look at Dice talking about the Alpha 6 on their Twitter and also about some... Can we reach 600 likes? That would help you out a lot for me to make better content and it's free and thank you so much. We are reaching the goals every single time. This is simply amazing. But yes, yeah, some important stuff to talk today. Alfield 6 actually started replying last few months on Twitter and if you don't think that's important, well, I will have to correct you here. This stuff is pretty new and replying about Battlefield 6 actually means something. It means that the reveal is most likely happening soon, either in March or latest by May. What I'm guessing, so this is my own anecdote, is we're getting something in April as they said the reveal is in spring and spring starts on the March 20th. Also happy Valentine's and a late one at that by a single day for anyone that did or didn't celebrate. But speaking about Valentine's Day, Electronic Arts posted in, the love guru is in baby, reply with below with your burning relationship questions and I, Dr. Hakim, will share my wisdom with you. Now, they did say, how do I ask out Call of Duty on a date? And it's pretty awesome because Battlefield 6 is getting ready to combat Call of Duty, basically. And Miriam tweeted, how do I ask Battlefield to be my Valentine? And then Electronic Arts actually replied, I'm a love guru, but today I will say double as a matchmaker just for you. Battlefield, what do you say, eh? And then Battlefield says, I'm still waiting on COD. Basically, a bit of beef, a bit of excitement, but it seems like they're actually starting to tease a bit, as we expected in early January to talk about the Battlefield 6 and next game. And such teases are really, really subtle, so you can't really notice them unless you watch this channel, per se. But it's really awesome that Battlefield 6 is actually preparing to fight Call of Duty. The wait is simply over. It's been almost three years from a Battlefield game, and it's time that Battlefield says stop. We're making new Battlefield games. We're gonna fight the franchise. We're back in the market. And I really, really, really support this idea of Battlefield finally becoming the franchise like it was, you know, 10 years ago when it was dominating purely market. But seems like that is gonna happen with more Battlefield games coming soon. And I don't have any confirmation on this. We have a few leaks then and there, but it seems like Battlefield 6 might be paid content and then we might be getting a battlefield game that's free to play content and then over the future maybe a few years from now we might be getting some remasters and slowly and slowly this game becomes maybe as big as fortnite hopefully but battlefield also replies to the memes about battlefield 6 and it's really nice because they start teasing it a little just dropping sort of informations and they say behold now this is a meme pick if you don't know what this meme is you're living under a rock now i'm just joking but seriously someone replied with Res Resident Evil Vill Age, Village EI, which means a 6, and Battlefield 6 confirmed, and Battlefield just replied, LAMAO. So it seems like they're not hiding Battlefield 6 anymore, and the teasers will probably start soon, and that's pretty pog. Considering we're getting smaller teasers like now, with just wait to be patient and so on, it seems like that something is around the corner in the month or so. As they said, we should be getting something similar in the following month, maybe March or late February, even some small pieces of info. That's what I'm really hopeful for, all through we don't have any confirmation. I also wanted to talk, we talk about Battlefield 6 in my Discord, and it's unintrusive, it's, you know, you join in and that's it. You click the link, you're in. You're welcome to join at any time you want. Link down in the description. Now, they're also pretty cheeky when it comes to teasing more stuff. So, for example, the community, we want more Battlefield 6 news. And me is basically the guy from Matrix evading bullets and leaks and information. So, it's really funny seeing Battlefield 6 tweeting that. Imagine if, for example, Fortnite tweeted that during the EA press conference call. But I'll also be talking about in May when there's a next press conference call. So, be sure to subscribe for that if you haven't already. But I know most of you did and i'm really really thankful for that but they also tease a bit about battlefield 6 like they tell us to be patient and they are aware we are super hyped for the game when someone said battlefield 6 please battlefield just replied just 
wait and that was in january 22 so might be the next leak might be pretty soon they also make memes about battlefield 6 just before january so the teasers are actually rolling in like crazy when someone posted about the battlefield 6 leaks they post about battlefield 6 leaks as plants i guess so they're also becoming aware that the leaks are happening and popping out out there but they're neither confirming if they're real or fake or not which we shall know pretty soon actually Actually. And someone also tweeted, hey, hey, you tell me about Battlefield 6. And they just replied, all good things happen to those who wait. And we've been waiting for a while now, so hopefully something is coming soon. And yeah, why am I emphasizing so much on such teasers? Well, because one day you will wake up, you will check your Twitter, and what you will see is a Battlefield 6 soldier, just like we saw in maybe perhaps in Battlefield 5's teaser. And it's not September anymore, like, it's coming, and it's coming soon. And sometimes Dice just wants us to wait, or wants us to really look into what they're telling us, or what the meaning behind their tweets actually is. And it seems like they're all hyping us up, and I'm really, really excited for that as well. Now, we can safely say that we are getting some new information in spring. And patiently, but surely, we will get something. As before, I was already saying, it's not November. It's becoming actually February, March, June, and so on. When we're actually getting more information about the new game. And potentially a release this year, which is pretty awesome. Now, speaking about leaks and speaking about the release, there is something you should be very careful of. And that is the fake leaks you might have seen in the past few weeks. And hopefully I can break them down for you and tell you which ones are incorrect. Before I get into Battlefield 6 leaks, I do want to tell you that only DICE knows which leaks are correct and which leaks are incorrect. But there is a more trustable, credible one such as 128 players versus the ones that don't make any sense. So for example, teaser trailers being posted on other channels. And you should really, really be careful as a lot of people are actually misleading, generating hype, which is completely fine in its own way. I'd rather see a real teaser, a real trailer than just some fake generated trailers that are presenting to be real ones or at least release date reveals so far. But the real funny I saw is this Battlefield 6 with a 6 instead of an why would dice do that now i simply don't believe this at all and sometimes they get really really weird you should be still careful at what you read most of the sources we are getting are from credible sources instead of some random posters on reddit they seem so bad but they still get posted on my discord by my viewers who think such sources are real yes we did get leaks for battlefield 4 before we did get leaks for battlefield 5 before but this means we only only have information for now and I don't believe we're getting any gameplay leaked so far just yet if at all and some are so funny for example this one got this image from a friend who has an insider you can't match much of it for except for a couple of early boat models from Battlefield 6 and at the top reply is this is actually just the typewriter for Battlefield 5 <laughs> but it's really important to note here that sometimes people want to spread leaks but to help Battlefield 6 for that way. But you're not really sure if those Battlefield leaks are true or not? Take it with a grain of salt, of course, as always. But my advice for Battlefield 6 leaks would be if they are made by a public source, someone who can be tracked and made some previous source claims, then it could potentially be real. But if it's a random Reddit post, then it's not real. Now, I do have another one that I did deeply research about, and it was like a picture of a jet bound these skyscrapers. But it's in fact, after, you know, the Photoshop and stuff, it's just a DeviantArt photo. 
And I have nothing, nothing against people who post Battlefield 6 leaks. They're simply trying to hype up the game so everyone is prepared and hyped out. Simply put, it's better to just look at the real leaks or wait for the game itself that's coming pretty soon. I'm Battlefield Central. If you want more Battlefield combat, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like, and do anything in your power to stay connected. And see you on my Discord and in my next video. Peace, guys.